No hurry whatsoever. Just taking their time. Thanksgiving's pretty far away. Hey! What are you guys eating? Yeah, it looks like somebody put bread out there. That's why they're luring them in. Alright, so next day, make sure you zoomed all the way out and uh, start off with it's uh, not my camera lens being dirty, it's just that when like today's cloudy and the sun's going down, the light was just hitting me at the wrong angle, and it gives you those little starry looking things in the picture. And uh, unfortunately, a little hard to avoid when you're outside unless you're on the right side of the deal. Anyway, uh, went and uh, early this morning uh, picked up a bunch of stuff for it, grabbed some new lights uh, with the metal bodies on them. Uh, a metal um, plate light. And uh, the plug we already had up was metal. And I exchanged those lights for a uh, just a, a fatter set to go underneath the back uh, bar under there. And then the guys came over who owned the trailer friends of mine and uh, we did a little uh, road trip to go look at another building that they bought and uh, when they were over here looking at the trailer and they uh, made a comment of painting it so I believe I will be painting the trailer red I asked them what color they wanted I said red so, so okay I'll probably just do it the same as I did my uh, my uh, trailer car trailer which is just a uh, rust-oleum red so uh, it is uh, a Shouldn't change how I attack it. I think everything's gonna stay the same as far as, uh, I'm still probably just gonna do all the wiring and the lights first. Uh, if I had to do it again, I probably would just yanked all the lights off of it without the wiring in it, paint it, let it sit for two weeks and then kinda do everything. But um, that's not in the cards, so. I think what I'm gonna do is probably get the planks off the top now, now that uh, all that has to get done anyway. We'll get those out of my way. I'll probably lay them on the ground over there and I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I'm either going to go uh, start mounting some lights on the sides of it and uh, I could probably run all the wiring or I may kind of dig into the um, pull the trailer hitch section apart a little bit and uh, make sure uh, I'm going to need to do an order for all the brakes and everything that uh, there's nothing else that's in there that's bad. Uh, that I have to go and get. I did look on eBay. The mass cylinders are available on eBay and then I tried my local parts store. Um, they didn't have any luck with it, but they put a call in to a trailer place in town and they were supposed to get back to me. But again, eh, they're available on eBay. So uh, we we're gonna go with, with hydraulic brakes. Uh, not changing over to electric, so. Let me stop gabbing, let me start making some room, and we'll start taking some more stuff apart or putting something together, whichever I feel like, once I get this chunk out of the way. Hey, right, so I decided to probably go uh, beat this hitch apart a little bit. I uh, took the cotter keys out of both sides here. You should be able to see. Kind of how that operates. There's got a set of shocks in the back. I have a feeling they may be tied to it. Come on. Maybe not. Yep. So those shocks are uh, holding it. Unfortunately, they don't look all that... Um, don't look like they're gonna want to play very well. See what I'm talking about with those guys. Yeah, that'll look a little crusty, rusty. So uh, I'm gonna try taking a cotter key out of that and see if they'll uh, slide to one side with a little. Yeah, my camera's acting up. I may or may not have lost some footage. But anyway, where I was was I'm trying to get that rear pin out. And I ended up having to go and slice the back two halves of the shock to be able to get the pin out because it was just so rusted up. And then there's no rubber in them, so I can kind of um, re-weld it when I put it together. But I need to get that assembly out of there. And I figure now that we got those disconnected, that whole thing could come out of there. But I know there's a mouse nest up front, so I suspect rust and piss and everything else that's holding it together. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. I 
Mighty Mouse is holding it. Hmm. Where's my light? Right here. I don't see any more bolts. I think these two guys right here, I'm willing to bet something's smashing into something. Of course it's not the right size. Of course it's not. They got that apart, but there's a, a pin holding it. How that pin got in there, good question. It might even drop, the whole thing might even drop in the hole maybe. Maybe take that apart. Let's go see if... Uh, Yep, it's that. Whatever that is holding that together. So I gotta do some more digging. All right, so that's what was the case. Yeah, that, the bracket ended up coming out uh, from the bottom. You can see the pin that was on there that was holding me. And it's got a bend to it. So that assembly's out of there. And now we should be able to get the whole thing out a chuchin. Let's see. Yeah, you can see. Mice! It was mice. These are any good? Yeah. That one works. And that one works. But I guess that's the movement that you get. The two pins go within there. And that's the travel that you have from probably forward to back to work the master cylinder. So now that that's cleaning out of the critters, these should be okay. I thought they were going to be worse than what they are. I'm judging by the edges were all cracked. So. And on these, what I'll do is I'll just put it back together and I'll just buzz them back with the welder. There's the, here's the critter nest. Yeah, so, so there shouldn't have to be anything I order for that. That should be good. Probably the next thing will be um, taking a wheel off. Actually, take all four wheels off, but we'll take probably one wheel off at some point, and we'll take a look at the, the uh, wheel cylinders. If one's leaking, I'm gonna do all four, you know. But uh, we'll take a look inside those and see what the brakes look like. So, what should I do? I should probably go with a little demo. I'll hit them with the cutting wheel, cut those nuts right off because they were not coming out with the drill. Then we'll start mounting some new lights. Actually, I can take a spray bomb and just kind of hit them red. That's what I did on the back here. Just so that the lights are going, uh, getting mounted on something that's already painted, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll mask them off and paint everything else. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start getting going on some lighting. Let's go and uh, serve the eviction notice first. Let's go hang the light, the back one anyway. What it has is the two ends are kind of floating, 
So one gets a screw and one gets a screw and it's got a, a ground lug on it. And I got some self tappers so we'll run those through. Should be long enough. Yeah. And um, I'll take it apart later on and I'll put some uh, dielectric grease in there. To keep the cruddies away. And which way do I want to run the wire? I probably want to run the wire up. So it's got a little cutouts in it where you can kind of stick out the wires. And I'll probably drill a hole in that frame. We'll drill a hole up in there. Eyeball it. Call them at the center. And I want to kick it up just a hair. Right, right about there should be good. That should keep it out of harm's way. do with the other one. You know I dropped it, don't you? Don't you? You guys are looking right at it. You're not telling me where it is. You hit it on me. I saw one of you grab it. Good thing there's plenty of them. Because I left it in the hole. That's why you guys didn't tell me. You guys are slackers. Kill that hole. Should be good for now. I'll run the wiring and take it back apart. Let's see, we need a hole right about there. Yeah, I try to run it somewhere in between here. That should uh, keep from getting whacked. Okay, so, oh, the lights mounted. That is the, the plate light, and uh, again, it's metal. So, see if it'll hold up a little better. And uh, just did the old soft tappers again too. And uh, when it's all said and done, I'm gonna come back and with the cutting wheel and just we'll just nip off the uh, back side of that. The front ones, I ended up going, they were up there where the red is, and I ended up shooting them down there because it, the way the wiring would be, it would end up popping out kind of like through the top of the decking. And of course, you know, they're just, asking for trouble if I have a wire kind of popping out there or before they had it kind of running down underneath and back across so now it just comes right through the center of it and don't have to worry about it chafing at all because it's already got a grommet built into the back of the light and uh, what I, it's only one wire I got to run up to so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snake a wire alongside the uh, the outside of this one and probably right where it goes through the um, the wells there. I'll take it and I'll drill a hole, drill a hole, and uh, have it go through there and put fuel line in it. As a grommet, it's kind of like what I did here too. Same idea, just put a piece of fuel line through it so the wire doesn't get chafy over time. And uh, just put a tie wrap on each side of it to locate it in the hole. So I'll probably do the same for that. But um, one of the things that they brought up, because I guess they like it, the um, support around that, that bottom light without getting smashed. And the other thing was uh, where the license plate was, hangs roughly, we'll get tuck it in probably right about there, is that, I don't know if you saw, their old plate was smashed to hell. And uh, again, it hangs down that much past this rail. So before I do the wiring and, and 
get all that tucked up underneath there, I am going to add on to the bottom of that just for a, a cage or a protection uh, of the plate. No, that's not the plate that goes on there. We're just using it for a mock-up. I think this might actually been what came with... Did this come with Krusty? I don't remember where it came from. Again, Krusty being a 59. Originally started in Vermont. So, um, I got to see what I got my scrap board. Looks like I need about... I let it come down about two inches off of that. Probably about the same as that over there. Had I known, <laughs> I could have sliced that down to the uh, the width of just the light and stole that piece from over here. But uh, oh well, I'm sure I got something else in the hoard. So I'm gonna go do some shopping, see what I can find, and uh, let's go take care of that. And the hoard gave up a piece of uh... yeah, that one of those. Uh hammock frames there. So I notched off a piece of that. Pull we'll that up into place. I'm going to come back with the flapper disc. We'll just kind of knock it a little on the flush side. I think what I'm going to do, that's the uh, two holes they had on the plate, which would have been something like that, which kind of sucks <clears throat> as far as uh, keeping it out of harm's way. I'm going to tuck it up just like that and I'll run price a couple of self tappers into the bottom <clears throat> and uh, it's never going to catch a then we're gonna catch a lip, you know. So that should be pretty good. Should be able to see it from behind the behind the light good enough. Better than what it was anyway. So after that cools off, I'll throw a bit of, a little bit of red paint on that. And uh, probably start running some wiring. But I can take these right out, because they got a bunch of crunchy paint on the back side of them. And uh, maybe I'll throw them in the sandblast cabinet because they unbolt and uh, shoot them black and maybe we'll let them sit overnight but uh, I can still do the wiring uh, now if I want to get into that. It's starting to get dark. It's probably about I'm gonna guess 6.30? Yeah, 5.47. Yeah, I got time. I got time before it gets dark. So I'm gonna see if I can still knock a little bit more stuff out. But um, let me throw some hit with a flapper disc, throw a little bit of paint on that and then uh, maybe we'll start getting into some of the wiring and we'll insert a little tip of the day. If you get any old tape, masking tape, electrical tape, and it kind of fights you and tears, if you pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so, the glue in it will kind of um, re, I don't want to say solidify, but uh, re tackyify from being brittle. If you go too long, the, the roll will kind of ooze and turn into a funnel, so don't overdo it. Oh, is that about 20 seconds? I guess it made about 30. You'll feel it. Be a little on the warm side. A couple more seconds. So what I'm in the process of doing is uh, running a wire down the length of the uh, the conduit. Um, I drilled two holes in the frame to make it um, for it to pass through where I drilled the holes for the conduit. And I took a piece of fuel line. And uh, yeah, now it's good. It's just like I was digging at it a minute ago. Yeah, you got that's much better. So anyway, uh, yeah, old masking tape, especially, or even in colder weather. So I'm gonna run a line parallel back up to the front. It's starting to rain. And uh, here's where I kind of went through the rail, just drilled two, some more holes and uh, put a piece of fuel line in there and then the line is uh, gonna be protected. So I'm gonna take, again, more fuel line and uh, I'll slice the fuel line, put it over it, and then just tape it to, to this. And I'm gonna run it parallel right up to that corner light and then run across. But I think my game might be due to getting cut due to rain. So this may or may not be the end of this. I'm gonna try knocking this out real fast. Where the weather turns. All right, now it's 6:30. So that's what I ended up doing. I uh, just kind of ran it as a chaser down, down that guy, and uh, put a piece of fuel line wherever you see the tape is where a piece of fuel line is. And uh, of course, you know, I drill through the frame rails and put a piece of fuel line or back actually vacuum hose through there. So that should keep that one line out of uh, harm's way. That's all I need because uh, it's just going to get. The frame's going to get grounded. We'll pick the ground up on those two front lights. So I'll be able to grab that one, 
right to that corner that should be fine and then I come across and uh, I'll probably get some of those um, the grommets with the rubber and the, the plastic around them and uh, we'll put a, a couple of those across the front of it to run over to this line and we'll tuck it underneath this rail and that should keep all the wiring definitely out of harm's way I think compared to what was under here it's definitely a marked improvement and then uh, uh, it's starting to rain so uh, I'm not gonna get the soldering gun out tonight but uh, tomorrow I think it's gonna be iffy too but hopefully tomorrow I'll get the uh, soldering all the joints and uh, uh, shrink um, shrink wrapping uh, over the top of the solder for those connections done and then I don't know, I'm gonna order the master cylinder uh, through eBay, it seems to be the, the way to go. But there's nothing saying that I can't put the old uh, master back in the front there and just start uh, figuring out and running uh, a new set of uh, the brake lines themselves. Back to the wheels and then you know across on these also. And the only thing I'm really gonna have to kind of wait on is uh, weather for paint. I'm probably gonna spray it, I'll spray it with Rust-Oleum and um, it takes a while to dry. That stuff can take uh, you know, a week or so, actually. But uh, we'll see. I may actually even just bring it over to the warehouse, which is about five, 10 miles away, because the lights will be working, right? And um, maybe just let it set in there for a week or two. Let it kind of cure up before I start uh, uh, screwing with the decking and um, Pulling the wheels off and seeing what we got for uh, you know the wheel cylinders and brick shoes and all that kind of stuff. So that may or may not be the plan. We'll see. But you know we definitely got to do something better than what's left of that tie wraps holding them. tie wraps holding the suckers onto the axles there. You know may even take a, a little bit of time to straighten out the fenders a little bit. A little on the uh, Kapui side also. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna wrap it up and shut her down and all that kind of happy stuff. I, mean, uh, I know this is, this is uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> it's what I'm working on, so that's what I'm making a video of. You know, uh, tomorrow if it's raining all day, maybe I'll bring the bike in and start uh, doing some uh, more work to the uh, latest bike build. You know. We got a plan. All right, later.